Hey, Hello. Robbie. Hey, Al. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the World Drone Community live stream. It is August 30th of 2021. And we've got a special guest tonight, Jackie Akers. The World Drone Community live stream. It is Sorry about that, Robbie. August it was my fault. 2021. She, uh, she's running a few minutes behind, so we're going to swing it and kind of see how things go here. We've got some people coming in here. Here we got to see Brad, D&D &D Aerial Views. Drone Views Media. They're starting to get in here a little bit, crawl in here with everybody else. So, Al, what's going on in Florida, buddy? Hey, I, it's been uh, very rainy the last couple of days due to Ida, uh, a lot of flooding. Um, actually, probably about 100 miles away from where uh, the hurricane landed, so it's been uh, a little rough. Today was a little bit of a break uh but uh, it's been uh, some serious rains with some serious winds uh fortunately I, I had a chance to actually get up in the air i don't know if you guys have seen the latest video i put out it was uh the sunrise before the hurricane ida and it was a pretty cool video uh, i did a hyperlapse with air 2s and also did a time lapse with the gopro hero 9 black so I merged both of those videos to kind of give you guys a feel how quickly the clouds are being pushed around. Um, so, yeah, and uh, I mean, I've been flying every day, having a great time. So if you indulge me, I'd like to share one of those videos with you. Let's do it, Al. All right. Let me uh, pull it up for you. I'm sorry about the fingers, guys. As you know, I'm traveling. And um, let's see. Uh, share. I want to share my screen. There we are. And then uh, you'll have to accept it and let me know when, re when you're ready. Go ahead. Oh. All right, guys. So this is Panama City. You Beach. haven't shared it yet. Oh, my fault. My fault. Again, here we go. Robbie, are you able to see what we're, I'm seeing? No. Nope. Not yet? Okay. Let me double check. Share. Share. Here we go. Apologies, guys. Uh, I, like I said, I'm, I don't have my dual monitor, so it's a little hard to view. And as you can, go for it, Al. We can see, see you now. All right. Good. All right. So this is actually a very interesting flight because as soon as that take off, you guys are going to see some juvenile dolphins playing around. You can see it's a, a rich target area. You see boats coming in and out. And But this is what I was after today. Check this out. I mean, you can go out there and swim with these guys. You can see this person right here with the... Uh, that noodle trying to get to them. These are three juveniles, maybe four juveniles, have them chasing around a uh, spotted gar. Um, I thought it was maybe they were birthing, uh, giving birth to one of the dolphins, but as it turns out, I think they're juveniles when I got a chance to review the video back at the hotel or the resort. Um, I was able to actually get a clear, clear view. So uh, right now I'm just trying to get my head under a, uh, a towel because there's so much clear that I really can't get a look at what's going on. Once I get that dialed in, then I'm going to go ahead and, and get a little closer. But you can see the juveniles just having a blast, right? Like they're feeding on something, right? You see their bellies exposed and everything. And you see them whipping around real fast. You're like, what the heck? Right? <laughs> and uh, so now that uh, I got a better chance to see what's going on, and you can see you can literally walk right up to them uh, at, from the beach. And this guy's calling everybody, hey, come over here and look at this. Well, I'm getting the best view of them all, right? Because I'm sitting right on top of them. And I'm just going to dial it in and just go ahead and start dropping an altitude but yeah check them out there's just like i was like what are they doing how come they're turning upside down they're just like a bunch of teenagers a bunch of kids just horsing around right pushing each other around what do you think robbie yeah i agree with you <laughs> yeah 
And and I'm like, what the heck? They're all like laying on top of each other. I'm like, what is going on, right? Are they having doing the, the wild thing or <laughs> or giving birth, right? And then you see this guy in a paddleboard slowly paddling up there to take a look. But you can see how close they are to the shore, right? I mean, they're super super close. They're I mean, the surf could push them out anytime, but and then. You'll eventually see what I think is either mom or dad come over here and escort them out of there. Uh, but, yeah, so, again, I'm going to go ahead and lower uh, it in altitude, try to get a better look. Uh, once again, the glare on the phone from the beach is just incredible. So I tuck my head under that towel, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, you can see all the other fish swimming around, too. They're not affected at all by the people. Doesn't bother no. them at all, does it? Yeah, and look at all the other fish around them. Wow. Like a school of fish. Right While they're there. <laughs> right, right. And look at that. They're just like pushing each other around, horsing around, man. Just smacking each other around. Let me grab your tail. Let me push you in the back. And it would be like, you know, you, your brothers and I hanging around, just horsing around. And you see the bigger bigger one here on the left? Uh, I yeah. think. They're keeping track of them, you know what I mean? Uh, they're basically, must have said something uh, uh, via their conversations uh, underwater uh, to head on out this way, get out, of the, get out of the shallow end, go out here to the deep end. And, and once again, it's really hard to see. So I'm having a really hard time tracking them. But I was amazed when I got back to the hotel to see how much it activity was happening in this little area I was swimming at uh, with my wife and my friends. And you can see the spotted gar right there. You oh, see wow. him? You see him? He's yeah. upside down chasing him, right? Oh, yeah. Look at him all. They're like, hey, we got a toy. Let's go get him. <laughs> what, are you, what are you flying now? Uh, that day I was flying the Air 2S and I had a polarized uh, filter on there, nothing else. I just polarize it, so that's why we're able to see so well into this water. Okay, so if you guys are flying in the beach, you definitely need a polarized filter. Look at that spotted car. They're just like upside down messing with it, man. See them? <laughs> they, they wanted it. They would have already eaten him. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. And the good thing about it is, you know, if there's any sharks around here, they were already beating them up. You know what I mean? They, these guys would have hurt that shark by then. They do not like it. And again, they're such a beautiful creature. In this area, guys, if you ever get a chance to go to Panama City Beach, don't hesitate. And the state park here was voted the number one beach out of all the state parks in the country. So it is fantastic. And how I can show you, too, what kind of boats you can actually look around here and get. And, and uh, well, you know, I'll, I'll cue that up next. But right. as you can see, I lost them. So it's time to gain some altitude and see if I can find them. Uh, because... You know, once you lose them, and then I got it. What happened was the towel blew out of my head, off my head, and I couldn't see anymore because of the glare. But this is actually probably a better view because you can see all the other fish around in the school of fish. And uh, I think I'll, I'll try to do a classic um, altitude descent and altitude by spinning at the same time to kind of give you the vertical effect. So if you guys get vertical effect, I might just be successful in doing that for you right now. So, yeah, amazing. I mean, just super amazing to me. that. Um, so if you were to take a sunset or sunrise crew, they would take you here for a little while. If you were to take a snorkeling cruise, they would take you here. But you could just drive here and cost $8 for a car, $4 if there's only one person in a car. So it's amazing value and amazing, amazing place. It really is. So I'll go ahead and stop sharing and then we okay. just kind of just talk about what's going on in your end of the world. That's, that's amazing on that owl. It's really good. All right. I want to remind everybody. Uh, Say a little prayer tonight for Johnny. 
Uh, Johnny yeah. Drone Flyer took a direct hit down in uh, Hammock, Louisiana. Oh, and I man. talked to him. He sent me a text this morning, said him and the family are okay, but shooken up. Said a tree fell in his yard and a branch came into one of his windows. So I think he's going to be uh, out, of, out of contact for a little while as far as power and electricity, I'm sure. So keep him in your prayers along with all the other people in that area that, you know, are separated from their families or, you know, the route without electricity and water and stuff like that. Because, you know, they said it's, uh, it's been 16 years since they had their last storm. Wow. And it's to the day, to the day. So, you know, it's kind of bringing back a lot of memories for the people that were living down there uh, when Katrina was there. Yeah, Katrina, man, I'll tell you what, that's yeah. just crazy. That yeah, happened. my brother was down there a week after it happened, and he said that uh, it just looked like a war zone. And, and uh, Johnny said the same thing when he texted me. So just to let you all know, he is okay. But uh, say a prayer tonight before you go to bed. That could be one of us down there. and He is one of our, one of our group. We need to look after him. Yeah, we do. And I would just say, Heavenly Father, thank you for keeping him safe. And uh, thank God, guide him, guide him through this, you know, very trying time and, and uh, give him some strength to get through this. And uh, of course, keep him safe. Amen. Yeah, Maddie says, he said, well, the hurricane was the worst thing he's ever been through. I've never actually been through. Well, we had one in Virginia. You remember, Al, when it was there. Yeah. It was nothing we, like, I'm sure, what these guys go through, but it was scary enough because we have a lot of trees around our house, big ones. Yeah, quite a lot of trees. There's no doubt about that. So, yeah, let me adjust my camera a little bit. Um, so, anybody else that you guys uh, drop a comment below. Let us know if anybody else is requiring some, you know, some extra thoughts and prayers for them, or we can even donate us if they need anything from us. You know, I'd be glad yeah. to do anything we can. Actually, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Hey, maybe Brad, on, good to see you on on the, on the chat, man. Uh, now, yeah. maybe on next week's live stream, mm -hmm. if we can find out where the fun website is for that, where we can put it down in there. You know, we can all donate a little bit of something to help the people down in that area because I'm sure they're going to need it, especially without any electricity. They're going to lose a lot of food. So if we get uh, if we find a, a link for that, we'll put it uh, in the live stream description after the live stream is over. And you guys can kind of come back and check on it. Any donations would definitely be appreciated. Those families are going to need some help. Um, yeah. Our guest is running a little bit late, so if there's somebody out there in our chat that wants to join us and come in with us, give me a holler and I'll drop you a link, let you come in, and if she comes, then we're going to boot you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, of course not. Uh, it, it, did you see what DD Aerial View said? A couple of the folks down there just hope that they're all all right. Yeah, we all hope they're all right. That's for sure. We could get Ray Kelly on here if he's got his pants on. <laughs> hey, Ray, you got your pants on? Jump in, buddy. <laughs> How about you, Brad? You want to jump in? <laughs> Joan Bees Media. Hey, Al. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Yeah, so... Yeah, um, I was going to show you something else here in a minute. Let me see if I can find it. Go ahead and pull it up. Okay. Ray see. says he'll come in. I'm going to pull Ray in. Pull, pull, pull Ray in. Yeah, of course. Where do I, where do I get my code from, Al? Where do you get your what? Where do I, I sent it to you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. You could just uh, look it up on uh, on your Facebook Messenger and okay. just copy that link, send it over to Ray. You can actually just copy it from the top of your browser also. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, I can do it. I'd send it. I'd just forward it over to Ray. I got it. He's on mine. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Now I'll go ahead and keep looking. Sorry about my fingers in your face, guys. I didn't mean to put my fingers up in your grill here. but Okay, Ray, I sent it to you. Check your, check your messenger, buddy. Curious to see. I'm sure Ray's talked to Johnny. Curious to yeah, see I'm what sure he has. Has to I'm see. I'm sure he has. Hey, TJ. See you there. Maddie.
race putting his pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Hey, sorry, Ray. <laughs> uh, definitely have a, a few laughs at your expense here. <laughs> Oh, man, it's a cruel world sometimes. I'm going to save this thumbnail so when she does come back. <laughs> Ray, give me the peace sign when you're ready to come on. So, Brad, how you doing in Virginia? I hear there's a lot of rain there, man. Hey, Robbie. Hey, hey, hey Ray Kelly. Hey, Ray Kelly. How are you, sir? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing We're good. hanging in, man. I'm, We're doing I'm Good, considering what Johnny just went through, I tell oh, you. What what he say? What he tell you, right? Yeah, I just got off of the phone with him, and uh, he survived, obviously, but his house took some damage. A lot of trees are down, and uh, obviously he had has no power. And then he lost his cell service for quite a while, but he's got it back now. So he's been cleaning up all day, and you know. I just feel bad for you. Could tell he, you could tell that he's been through a lot. He says it's been the worst, the worst hurricane that he's ever experienced down there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Man. I feel so bad for him. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how you hanging up in New York, man? You got the rain coming your way. Oh, I guess. Yeah. I guess be I that. Get remnants of it. I guess uh, Wednesday into Thursday, but nothing right, like they they right. did, you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm um, sitting here in a area Ray, and uh, of course they got generator back up and all that jazz. They got big old diesels in, in each one of the buildings, and uh, I mean they howled and howled and howled, but. Um, not compared to what those boys went through, you know, right there in Louisiana, right? And this, yeah. And, I, I've been through a couple of storms down in, well, hurricanes down in Florida. Back in too. 2000, we had two hurricanes back to back, a month apart. And it, it was crazy. I mean, we lost power for six days. And it's just bad, you know? Luckily, yeah. Johnny Johnny ha and his family have generators, you know. Oh, good. So good. Some of the uh, refrigerators running and the freezer running, you know. Right. He Save said, the money. Yeah, he didn't have a desk, but he, he said he did make coffee today in an old-fashioned drip pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, man, I'd put it out in the grill, in the gas grill, and just do it old cowboy style, right? Yeah, I didn't say hello to everybody in the chat. How you, how's everybody in the chat? Good to see you. Yeah, definitely good to see you. All right, I'm going to share you, you know, with you guys some of the the boats that are coming out of here uh, in this jetty. And uh, I promise to, to be able to share it correctly this time. <laughs> Let me know if you see the screen. Uh, there we are. Okay. Yep, there it is. All right, so what I found out after doing the numbers on this boat. This boat has a 10-ton uh, um, hydraulic arm here in the back, and it's got a helipad on the front. Uh, I actually drove by where it docked up this channel, and to the left of this channel is where I'm flying from. You kind of see the jetty and the white beaches. That's yeah, yeah. St. Andrews Park, but play close attention to this huge arm that's able to lay all these cables but you see that orange little submarine right next to the HOS numbers? Yeah, sure. That's like the emergency rescue lifeboat, yeah, right? Right. But like that's my Captain, Captain Phillips movie. Yeah, and that's my personal helipad right there, man. You see that? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I need that's that's reserved. I got the, <laughs> I got the biggest drone. Mama Trees has to go on that. <laughs> All right, so guys, this is the perfect time to use your digital zoom. The only drag about the digital zoom is that you lose your yaw and your altitude while you're digitally zooming because you have both of your fingers occupied, as you know. You have to have the thumb and the index finger on your left hand to be nice. able to do this. Where's but the sub at, Al? You don't see the sub to the left of the HOS. 
that orange. Oh, the orange little one, the little one. Okay, I remember yeah. that. I thought you were saying there's one in the water too. I was like, where is it? No, no, no. Yeah, the that's many, the, the many. Okay. Yeah, that's the that's the many. And I'm flying, like I said, you see all the people under umbrellas, uh, right there, right past the helipad if you look through it and now it, that's a great um, that's a great place to fly from al yeah you know what i'm desperately trying to get around the front of it to circle it uh, but i just don't have enough speed with this wind kicking up did you see the chopper in your video yeah yeah i did there's a bunch of tourist choppers that really just scaring the crap out of me every because they're not obeying their normal flight patterns, you know, and so they're dropping like 150 feet. So I'm trying to stay under 100 feet. And obviously, this is a big freaking boat. So I didn't want to hit it. And so I just let it go. And then I'm like, okay. Now, what and drone are you flying in? Al? Which drone? This, this is the Air 2S. And I've been having a heck of a time with the DJI app, Fly app. It, it's not accurately reporting a lot of things. And so I, luckily I was running a screen recorder. I knew that I'd been in the air for 10 minutes and I had maybe about seven minutes left because I've been flying real hard into the wind and away from, you know, lateral flights uh, you see here. But I'm digitally zooming as much as I can to give you that effect. And then what we found, yeah, yeah, what we have found out is that the digital zoom on the Air 2S is better than post-production zoom. So, you know, when we take the video, we zoom in and out in post-production. It's not as quality as that. You can see the cable reel there hanging, hanging real low uh, in the water and then another reel on the arm. But that's a digital zoom. Look how far okay. it zoomed in. Yeah, right? it, looks like, it looks like you're flying right in on it. <laughs> right. Obviously, it pixelated some. Um, now, you you see the buildings way across the sound. You see the beach on the left. That's where I'm staying at. It's one of the Marriott resorts uh, there. And that was called Legends and at uh, Panama City. And I had a chance to check my screen recorder, and I took a gamble that I had enough battery to go a little further and follow yeah. um so it's, it's kind of a gutsy move and then i'm like okay and right about here i'm gonna break up because i'm standing behind a doom and it's gonna read it's getting ready to rth because i can see my signal strength dropping so that's why i gain altitude mm -hmm. and then called it a day and uh and just turned around and flew back I can see that I'm already worrying. Uh, that's why the shot was ruined. And I was like, okay. And you can see the helicopter flying right there. You know what I'm talking about? You guys, I don't know if you guys see it. No, but I don't. You can see this helicopter right in front of you guys. It's this little, kind of looks like a dragonfly buzzing around right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And he's. He's almost the same height as I am, yeah. right? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, what the heck am I gonna do? He's obviously chasing the the dolphins. Okay. But because when I come back in, you'll see the dolphins uh, as I'm coming back in. But this is a real nice park. There's a store right here on the right. The bigger building is a store, and it has bathrooms. And then the smaller building is also a store. It's got parking. And like I said earlier, it's $8 to get in here with a full car of people. Um, and we got there early in the morning, like 9 o'clock every morning um, when the sun was out. And... Uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. And this is the trail. It gives you a really nice, you know, those mats with the steel and rubber they put on top of the beaches nowadays for wheel. Uh, yeah, right. For, yeah, handicap access, right? Mm -hmm. And that pond that you see right now as I'm spinning, they call it alligator pond. Um, not sure if there's alligators, but there goes the boat. It's done, so... 
had a good time chasing that thing. It's a little scary, like I said, because I'm not sure. I'm happy now because I'm like right above where I'm at. So if it decides it just lands. Yeah. Right. I, you can, can bring it right down. Yeah, I can walk to it. Um, but I did have one of those landings because of the DJI app uh, did not work well. And I landed in sand and then I had to bring it back and borrow my wife's blush brush and get all the sand out of it. But that's completely digital zoom 7x right there. And you can see how yeah. bad it pixelates. I mean, it really pixelates pretty bad. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Right? Let me uh, check my. Is this the, the first time you stayed in this area, Al? It is. It is. It is. And um, it, it was one of those things, you know, when you join the Hilton, Hyatt, or uh, Marriott Resorts, you have a lot of points. If you buy a lot of points, then you get access to a real nice quality resorts. Mm -hmm. And then you get the book like a month ahead of everybody else, too. So those are the advantage. But um sometimes i forget to look at how many points i i got expiring and i had a bunch of points expiring so i booked this place for two weeks yeah so i wouldn't lose you know and then with the points i bought two first class tickets too so flew down there in first class got my lovely wife with me <laughs> and, and uh yeah so there it is you guys get to feel what's going and that boat is actually charting the ocean it kept going back and forth. And I was okay. worried that he was like coming to get me for some reason. Oh, okay. Because, because I was chasing a boat and the helicopter was kept buzzing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And I was like, well, screw it. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm doing everything by the book. I'm staying low. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, you know, so that's I mean, the jetty. There you go. And I'll stop it here. It looks like a beautiful, beautiful beach. You know, yeah, it is in this island you're looking at. Actually, if you're going to fly to it, they call it a uh, shell island, and you can't get to it by road, you have to get to it by boat. That's the only way these people are, are on this beach because at the other side, where it connects is Navy property, you can't get to it. Uh, I think it's Kindle Air Force Base. I'm sorry, not uh, yeah, Kindle. Uh, Air Force Base, so it's not Navy, it's Air Force. Uh, and that's where it connects way down there. Uh, so all these folks that you see there, they boat it over. So yeah. it's like, that's, it's des cool. that's deserted, as deserted gets, you know. And you can see kind of like the boats kind of moored there inside that little sound um, uh, within the, the jetty. And unbelievable snorkeling too. So, anyway, I'll stop did talking. Did you do some snorkeling? Yeah. Was that? You did some snorkeling too? No, I did not. I forgot oh. to bring all my gear, and yep. I still got till Thursday. Um, but it's been a double red flag day. So, and it's been raining all day. So, I, I did a pool day today, just like what you like to do, Ray. You're always in the pool. Yeah, right? just by the pool. <laughs> Get on the uh, the my iPad <laughs> <laughs> and watch all your and watch all your videos there, right? <laughs> yeah. right. And yeah, and at the resort you can rent pontoons for the whole day for one hundred and ninety bucks. Freaking deal, dude! One hundred and ninety bucks for a boat all day long. That's cheap. That's, That's very cheap. cheap. Last yeah. time I rented one it was in Marco Island. It cost me four hundred for four hours. So it cost me hundred. It cost me hundred an hour. Yeah, so, and Palm, Palm Beach is about two fifty for four hours. Yeah, two fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nope. So there you go, guys. This is St. Andrews State Park in Florida, Panama, Panama Beach, it's Panama City Beach. Sorry, I'll get it straight. Hey, there's a good helipad right there. <laughs> All right. Okay, Ray. Right. Look what I got. Yeah, how do you like it so far? Oh yeah. Well, let me say, well, I I crashed it. Oh no! It crashed it. Not that it was real. You know what? This is really affected by the wind because of these. And I was coming down, and the thing about uh -huh, it, uh -huh, I don't uh -huh. I don't know if it's the remote, but when you pull down on the remote on yours, if you pull down, does it have a locking position? 
No, not mine. Well, mine, when I pull down, if I pull down too low, it like it locks and keeps going. So I had Ooh. to catch that. But I was flying across the parking lot, and all of a sudden, it kind of started acting funny on me. So I moved it forward to get it away from the cars and then lowered it. And when I when I was landing, I was still moving barely, just a little bit. It just caught enough, and it tipped over. But I oh. didn't know if it you know, was just a bad connection, but it was really, really windy. But no damage, no damage, no, no, no damage. But that is so much more affected by the wind than the mini is. I is mean, that a P3 or P4? by far, yeah, this is the three standard. So That's I'm really eager. Hey, I'm really eager, uh, Ray, to open this and fly this. This belongs to my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to oh. I got to put it in the mail and send it to him, or or maybe we might give it away tonight. But I better I better send it to my friend. <laughs> yeah, I think he'd get upset. Yeah, I wonder who that be. <laughs> no, that's good that you got that. I I like my Phantom Four. I do, but again, you know, I like the Air Two S better. I yeah. do. Yeah. You you got the version two and the P four. I got the P four advanced. Yeah, and that's you got four K, that, yeah. and this okay. one is the standard, so it's only got two point seven. It's not bad. You know, I went to pick it up, and the person that sold it said, "Oh, I've only flown it four times." So after I looked through another set of propellers that were worn out that came with it, and the stickers were off it, and the bushings that were here were physically like cracked, and I looked in the huge box that it came with, the hard shell, it had everything to replace those parts. I was like, I don't understand why he didn't take the time and, and change it before he sold it. But I did get a deal on it and I wanted to fly it. So I went ahead and bought it. Oh, yeah, congratulations, that's Robbie. That's now, Al, you've got one too, don't you? Yeah, the P4V2, which is a 4K60. Right. Is that the one your neighbor had? Yeah, that's the one my neighbor had. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he, he looked at me and goes, look, I'll you could buy for a song. I'm like, okay, I don't want to insult you. So I said, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you 400 bucks, right? And we negotiated a little better price than that because yeah. he he went home after, you know, we had our, they had, we had a neighbor's got a pool. So we all jumped in the pool, kind of like having Ray as your neighbor. He probably host a bunch of nice cookouts and have cocktails and all that right and we're all drinking he, and we got talking about drones and i said hey he looked at me he goes hey man you can have it for a song i was like look dude i don't want to offer you insult you or anything so i let it go and then he called me the next day you still want it i said yeah you know and i offered him price and he said okay and then i said drop it by tomorrow then and then that night he called me back and he said you know, I'm not really getting much for this thing. I said, I told you. That. I told you that. And right. I said, okay, name a price. And he named a price. And I said, no, I won't take it for that, but I'll yeah. do this for it. And he, 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 he took it for that. So I like the controller on this one, but I was telling Ray, I don't like the setup because you have to buy a separate piece to connect the phone to the remote. Oh, yours didn't come with it. No. Nope. Well, it came with just the, the remote. Bracket? Yeah, the piece wasn't in there, and the guy that sold it had a handheld. It looked like something for a camera, and I was like, so whose third hand holds out while you're trying to fly? So I ordered a replacement. So what I did right. was is I actually took the part off the big uh, the big uh, drone I've got, the secondary one. I took the, the holder off of that and mailed yeah. it temporarily. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you can 3D print it also, too. I've well, seen 3D prints, too. I was saying if I had the piece, I bought a really nice uh, – adapter that's made for that controller that locks over and it's got a pin that locks through and i was yeah. putting it together and i looked and it had two cracked pieces in the plastic and i'm telling you it was like all polished aluminum for 15 dollars. was like what a deal but i, I gave two i gave 225 for it i got two that's batteries and, and it had good it actually had good good flight time on it Oh yeah, there you go. See, he he's got that metal bracket. That's it. That's it. That's the That's metal it. bracket. It's an it's, alloy. It's, it's an a alloy little piece. different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a little different for the one it, that I bought. Enlarge his. Enlarge his. Uh, yeah. Let me see it. Enlarge his. Yeah. Enlarge his uh, display no, there, Robbie. It works good. It really does. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let me yeah. grab my piece so I can show it to you. Hold on. Yeah, Ray. I mean. Um, Look at that. Automatic. Oh, yeah, you squeeze it right, and it releases the spring. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you. Yeah. 
Yeah, those yeah. things are sweet, man. And um, the range is just really nice. And AccuSync too is is super nice. Um, but you know, I have the digital this, control this, from DJI. It looks this just like has that. light bridge. The, the advanced, the P4 advanced has uses light bridge. Light but bridge. But that's the issue. Yeah, that's AccuSync too, and Robbie's, I think, right? Yeah. But it's See, this one, this one came and it's got a double side. It's got a side for the uh, for the tablet. This side, and then it's got a side for the cell phone. But the oh, base okay. part, the base part broke when I was trying to tighten it up, and it's plastic. Well, it's like stainless and plastic together. Oh, you but, can use the super glue uh, bicarbonate soda. I to fix but the rest crack. of the metal is the same as yours, Ray. And it's like, I was I was so impressed. I was like, man, I'm going to write these people and say how cool it was. And then it broke in my hand. And I was like, well, what if Amazon will take it back? It looks effective to me. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet you they would take it back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. It just it hey. just didn't have any but I was so happy because I do like the way that it mounts with that screw like yours does in the controller itself. But you know, hey, it took me a day to get it. I'll I'll uh I'll order me another one. Hey, on that note, I think I showed you guys last week where I got this little camera that I won at Minefield. Oh, you won that? Nice. Yeah. Hey, why don't you enlarge yourself, Robbie, so we can okay. see it better? Yeah. Cause I gotta, I want to make a comment about this. Now I looked online. It's the C 200 model and it's from SJ cam. And I'm telling you, it's like, it weighs as much as my, my uh, hero eight does. And that's a, that's a waterproof housing, right? Waterproof yeah. housing, it, it comes with a waterproof housing, a clip for you to put on your shirt, another regular lens, you know, because of course with this, you're not going to get any sound out of the waterproof. It comes with like all this stuff built into it. And I looked online and they're like one $110, $120 for that. But here's the coolest part. That's a good is deal. this, is this watch. Now I couldn't see them together. They look like they were too different. So you buy this for the models of these. Okay. But, but what I like about it is you guys that use cameras, y'all all know that on your cell phone, you can set it up to do the remote. And with your cell phone, you can, you know, take a picture and, you know, and stuff like that. Or you can go to the camera and turn on video and then start your video. This has got a button for both. So you can actually click video and toggle between video and camera both. Mm -hmm. I filmed for like 30, 40 minutes with it and stopped the video and took snapshots. And this thing pairs with it like. It's a Wi-Fi interface or a yeah, Bluetooth? Yeah, Wi-Fi yeah. interface. I was okay. so impressed with it. I was like, man for the price. So what, what my question is now, I don't know about the stability for this as far as when it's moving the stabilization, which it's 4k and they say it has it. I want to put it on an FPV and see how it does. You can put it on your shoulder and run. That'll I'll be good. Yeah. 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 I'll fall, I fall down and break it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to show you guys the view, Robbie. Yeah. Congratulations on that. I'll go ahead and pick up my laptop. And Robbie, I, I got to compliment you on that shirt. That's a nice shirt you're wearing. Yeah, there. man. Hey, we, we only, we only <laughs> produce good products. What color is that? <laughs> this, this, is, uh, this is called uh, salmon, I believe. <laughs> yeah, salmon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> salmon. All right. I got to make sure I don't drop anything. All right. Let me see if I can show you guys my view. I'm going to be bragging now. Oh, look at this view. All oh. right. Enlarge that one, Robbie. Okay. Let me get there. Okay. I got you. And uh, as you can see, it's still windy as heck. But, uh, yeah. What floor are you on, Al? Which floor? I'm only on the fourth floor. Um, we usually get the top floor, but I uh, there's only five floors here. You can see mm -hmm. the building next to it. And the sound is right over there in the left. Um, but, yeah, it's been a lot of fun here. It's a, it's a small little resort, but you know what? It's better than being at home, you know? It's always good to get away. It is, especially if you got your lovely spouse with you, you know? Yeah, Maddie, I think it did have the clip, but in the kit, I think the guy lost it. Very nice. Matt, Al. Thank you, Ray. Hey, Maddie, you're going to... I highly recommend that place, huh? 
I would now because uh, of all the other locations, you know, that you can get to. And I'm actually sitting in the bedroom because I didn't want to take up the, like, another couple joined us. Uh, thank God we got good friends. And... Uh, We've been hanging out. Don't worry, Kevin. Kevin's, Kevin at D&D, S. Arrowview said, don't send me a salmon. Don't worry. This is something I got for me. Just, it was just a really nice shirt when I bought them, and I, I just I wanted it. Yeah. yeah. If y'all have ever seen the weather guy, uh, what's his name, Al Rorker, and he's always oh, yeah. got different color shades. Oh, he had to. You'll notice, that you'll notice that every shirt I wear is going to be different. I'm promoting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, he had a jacket on today, and I was like, really? <laughs> you know? Hey. I uh, I got a uh, plans to do a sunrise flight tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to go to a, uh, a local uh, dock on the south shore of Long Island in a town called Patchaw, <laughs> and I'm hoping to get the sunrise. That's my plan tomorrow. And then Friday, yeah. I'm meeting with Rob Carmada. And we're going to fly the Huntington Lighthouse, which is about 55 minutes from me. But uh, hopefully we'll get some good oh, That's sound? on the Long Island Sound. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's on the Long yeah. Island Sound. Huntington Bay, actually. It comes into a bay there, and uh, I'm looking forward to the, these two flights. Okay, guys, we, we need some thumbs up. We got 11 people watching, and we got five thumbs up. Don't be greedy. Show the love. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. I'm going to take a little break. And I, and I gave it a, a thumbs up when I came in. <laughs> I, actually, I think I need to do it, too. There we go. Now we're at six. Yeah, but there we go. We got seven. But uh, and 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 Robbie, can I t tell who who's going to be on the fly for fun show Wednesday? Is that all right? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we got uh, Brad Alston. He's going to be a guest on Wednesday, along with Eddie Nunez from uh, the New York City uh, group. And uh, Eddie flies a lot of FPV. He's he's a great photographer. And then we have Greg uh, Revenry of the Pilot Institute. It's, it should be a good show on Wednesday night on the Fly for Fun show. All right. Okay. When Al and comes I'll back, let, when, I'll let Brad. Brad break the news on what he's donating to the uh, South Florida drone meetup too. I'll let okay. him tell everybody. Okay, it sounds good. Hey, Al, tell you what, let's uh, we're gonna do a mystery giveaway. Al, now you can hear me. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a mystery giveaway. Ooh, nice. And last time we had a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who that was. <laughs> okay, so look, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna give away I'm ready, something. I'm ready. I'm ready with the numbers. Okay, y'all be ready. Let me tell you, you're gonna have to have some math with this one, guys. So you got to pay close attention if you're gonna win this one. And you can only give one answer. Anybody that gives two answer is not is not gonna be able to win. <laughs> Brad said two. Pick me. Okay, so look, y'all listen carefully. And pay attention to what I'm saying, and whoever comes up with the answer, I'm going to win. You. Brad, you can do this, man. You're smart, guy. Okay, here you we go. This, you got this, Brad. Okay, we got a school bus driver that goes to pick up some kids, and she makes a stop. She picks up twelve kids. Okay, she goes a little bit further. She lets ten kids off. She makes another stop. She lets thirteen kids on. Makes another stop. She lets 14 kids on. And then she makes another stop. And she lets one off. How many stops did the school bus stop? 
<laughs> I threw you a curveball, Ray. No one. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing the math with the kids. <laughs> so we'll see who comes up with it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me read the chat. I want to see what's going on. Yeah, I tell you. All Damn. right. We got, man, Maddie and DD got it. Brad, you, you said four. So I know what it is, though. I already know, and, and, and nobody's picked I it. Have, I did have 28 kids, though. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody pays attention so close to see what that is. That's a good one. I like that. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it just kind of at the last minute, the curveball comes. Well, it's in, funny right? because sometimes I've noticed on the live streams when I look, We'll see people talking about what we're talking about, and the other ones are talking about changing their brakes and their tires on the car. But I noticed that when I started talking about the free mystery gift, everybody shut up and started putting numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Very yeah. good. Very good. Let's That's see. Good. Oh, Brad said one. <laughs> missed Brad one. said one. Oh, he missed one. Yeah. No one. No one's Sorry. got it yet. Sorry, I misread it, Brad. My Shouldn't thought. be that far off. Keep guessing, Brad. You might get it. I try, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can always, you can only, you can only pick one. So whoever hadn't done it, start dropping a number in there. Well, I'm afraid only uh, if you have replied. Let's see. Brad started with five. Then it went to two. And then he went to seven. Okay. And then we have Maddie with 22. <laughs> laugh <out loud. laughs> okay. Damn, Brad. Brad won. We're going to give it to Brad. Brad. Congrats. Hey, I knew you could do it, my friend. Okay, Brad, Maddie, let me ask you this before the, give, before the giveaway, Brad. <laughs> Maddie's you, going what? three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Brad, what do you like better? Do you like the Mavic Mini or do you like the... The Zeno 2 Plus. <laughs> you can't have either one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, Brad, I got your address. We're not saying what it is, but I'll mail it off. You'll probably get two if that's a hint. And otherwise, when you get them, you can uh, give us a shout out on the uh, on the next live stream. He, he says he wants the mini. <laughs> you, know, you know, Robbie, and, and our mystery guests are, are very exciting, you know? The anticipation of what it's going to be, you know. Yeah, yeah you might you one. might need batteries, uh, Brad. You might need batteries for this. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry to say, um, you know, Jackie will have to invite her to join us again. I think she just ran into some, uh, you know, issues over in Spain because it's like twelve o'clock over there at night. You know, yeah, like one in the morning, and. <clears throat> Hey, so, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. There we go. Hey, Johnny. How hey, you doing, hey. man? Good, buddy. Yeah, I love you back, brother. Glad you're doing okay, man. Hey, Ladies houses can be fixed. People cannot be fixed that easily. Johnny, what are you looking at for power before you think you get your power back on? They said anything? And Johnny, just to let you know, I gave the people an update. As soon as I came in, I told them, would you tell me? But it's good to see you in the chat. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely good to see you in chat. Generator's working well. Or you got power? Drop us a comment below. Let us know if you got power. And if you need anything, let us know. Be glad to help any way possible, for sure. <clears throat> So Brad is saying he needs a uh, 2XL. Yeah. Yeah, I've already got it, uh, Brad. Thank I've got you. all the information you sent me. Yeah. Brad is saying five to seven days for him. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get to a gas station somewhere else to get more gas for your generator? That's the main thing. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, I keep two, two generators in my house. I really need to get a whole house generator my, like my neighbor, man. And those things are amazing because when the power goes out, his generator kicks in right off the bat. And he's still got lights, man. We're all going outside to the shed, pulling it out, hooking it up to the bypass switch, and blah, blah, blah. How you doing, Michael? Alan, Alan, Drone Views Media. Good to see you. Yeah, Alan, good to see you. 
you're always always here man appreciate the support yeah, I like I like blind Neil's logo <laughs> yep mm -hmm. how you doing blind Neil all right Robbie since um in honor of Jackie why don't you play that video we we put together for her? okay this is the intro video guys so we're gonna have Jackie back and so to promote that, um, when Robbie tees up, we put a short little video. She's in Spain, so the conversation is going to be. This video is the oldest dam in Europe. It's like 600 feet you walk all the down. The TV dam. Looks like a really cool place. We definitely look forward to having her <clears throat> when she gets a. Now, was she flying the, the, the GGIF PV there or which drone? Yeah, drone? yeah. So, Steve Gardner is the host for um, Drone Seekers International. He's out of UK and she's a co host out of Spain. And he, there's two more co hosts. Marcus is the other co host. Yep. And mm -hmm. there's two more co hosts there in. Uh, I think Ireland and England. So Steve's in London. Jackie, I forget where she's at uh, in Spain, but she's always, always loves that Skydio. And Platypus is what she named her Mavic Platinum. She, she had the Mavic Pro Platinum. She calls it Platypus. Okay. So you see that in the thumbnail? We put that on there because she loves that drone. <laughs> Her yeah. first drone was a spark, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Just like me. Yeah. And it crashed on her. She brought it back to life. And the Mavic Pro Platinum Platypus crashed. And I said, yeah, super glue will fix that one with, you know, a little bit of that bar barcave and the soda. And she said, I'm going to do it. She did it. Got her working. She ordered some parts. But, you know, she was only down for a couple of days. <clears throat> so... Yeah. With a spark, she actually, I think, took a uh, took one of the Insta 360s and dangled it from the uh, from the spark and was flying it. Went in the water. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. 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 And then mm -hmm. she had a battery failure. It came out. The battery came out of the platypus and thing crashed and burned pretty bad. I don't think she was able. I'm not sure. I haven't heard back from her and that was going to be part of the conversation tonight was like you know hey how's it going with your uh with mm -hmm. platypus you know yeah. oh somebody uh, let's see blind neil great <laughs> logo my friend uh, i call my spark <laughs> sylvester <laughs> sylvester what oh, i'm sorry i missed it you guys are, you, you my le my last video i know you'll get a kick out of it because it, wa it wasn't a drone video and uh, I had went to a wedding this past Saturday in New Jersey, and they had the reception in in the home of the uh, the bride and groom, the backyard. Oh, nice! And and the the father-in-law, he really knows how to cook. So you'll never let let's see if anybody can get it in the chat. What do you think he cooked? At, at this wedding. A pig. Some people probably saw it on my channel already, and they'll be cheating. But <laughs> <laughs> be cheating. Yeah. There's no cheaters here. Uh, but anyway, I'll tell pig. you. I'll tell you. He was doing a pig. Yeah. He did a 102-pound pig. And I says, you know, I'm, I'm going to film a little of this. 
<laughs> yeah, why not? Did it put the apple in the mouth and the whole thing? What video? And and I was lucky enough to get the first taste. He says, oh, hey, wow. you, "You try this," and uh, it was interesting. But I, you know, I got some good shots of the pig being uh, barbecued and. You know. Did he have like the, the barbecued on the trailer? And nine uh, nine hours he did it. Yeah, he, you get up early it, and you start. nine hours. Yeah, and uh, it it was good. You know, I have to say it was good. It was, it was delicious. Party. Good. Yep. So it was a different yeah. video that I posted this week. <laughs> That's fantastic. Totally but I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of starting a cooking channel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, I'll watch. <laughs> Absolutely. I have you anybody in in the group ever used um blue apron or home chef to make meals? I've tried both. And the wonderful thing about it, if you have a mate that likes to cook, you cook together. Because you have so many things you have to prep. That's the only downside. You get the box full of stuff, right? But then you got to prep it all. And uh, it takes longer to prep it. You know, cut up the vegetables, do all the other stuff with the meat or the shrimp or the fish or the chicken or the pork. And I mean, I learned so many different cooking techniques. And that's the beautiful thing about watching other people cook. You learn all those tricks, right? Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, I could probably cook a pig now. I, I, All I, right, <laughs> hey, we'll do it a spin up. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, it's funny because at, at the end of this church service, I'm out in front of the church, and sure enough, a drone pilot shows up. And he's <laughs> he's going to launch and get some drone shots at a bride and groom coming out of the church. So again, you know, I, I whip out my old. Camera, which is my my, uh, oh, yeah. uh, and I says I'm gonna I'm gonna film you, man. I got I got a YouTube channel and we feature drones. You know I'm gonna film you take it off. All right, and he says yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So I got him take it off and fly it around a little bit. Let um, me ask you this: Did he use any of the automated features like droney or circle beam? No, no, because it was it was in a very congested area of okay uh, uh, Lynnhurst, New Jersey. Oh, it okay. Was right on the main thoroughfare, and he stayed almost right on the sidewalk. And uh, you know, he uh, he uh, I didn't I didn't wait around because we were told that the the bride and groom were having photos taken inside yeah. the church. Yeah. So we left. We didn't even wait for them to come out. What was he flying, right? He was flying the Air Two. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Air Two. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. drone shots are, are just perfect for those scenes, in my opinion, because you just hit that button, man, let it go. You know what I mean? And it's I, I guess we could plug his channel. Maybe I told I told him uh, I'm I'm pretty involved with live stream, so maybe he'll pop in and we'll send him your way too. But his his channel is Team Buffalo Outdoors. And he does a lot of hunting and uh, fishing videos, and obviously he flies drones too. So, guys, um, talking about plugging channels and all that, I guess we're getting close to that part of the of the of the show that we come up with uh, shameless shameless uh, promotions, right? Uh, Robbie, you got anything going on, man? That well, you want to promote? I ate earlier, so I'm not going to give Slim Chickens any advertisement today. <laughs> and, uh, if you want to check out my channel, Travel Tech 360, it's still there. Just been concentrating on the world drone community and to let everybody know we will be launching the website for real finally this next week. So when we have our next live stream, we're going to show you guys how to log in, how you can set up your registration and get your membership card. So we're trying to put together a couple of videos that will explain how to do it so we can play it. That way, when you go on there, you'll understand what it's for and then make any comments on anything that, you know, hopefully everything works good. We're going to test it pretty, you know, pretty heavily. But, you know, just let us know what you think of, of what we're trying to do for the community and anything that y'all want want added it to, you know, added to it. Let us know and we'll see if we can actually add it in the website because we just want to make it one source for everybody to go to for information. So we can share, check everybody's channel. And then we are going to be integrating the images and videos 
from the people directly from our Facebook group. So if you've got something that you want to be on that website, you need to post it on the World Drone Community Facebook group first, because we're going to pull from all of our members first before we pull anything outside of our group. Awesome. Awesome. Ray, yeah. any uh, promotions you want to uh, well, no, no, I'll just, I'll just remind everybody again about the South Florida Drone Meetup, which will be uh, April 2nd, 2022 in Jensen Beach, Florida. It's going to be a good time. There's no doubt in my mind about it. I've got so many commitments already that people say they're going to be there. And like uh, Robbie, uh, you know, you guys said you're going to donate a drone and uh, yep. GoPros and yep. action cams. And then somebody saw that and they reached out to me, Gary Sullivan for the Rhode Island drone meetup group. They're going to donate a mini two also as a raffle prize. And, uh, it's, it's going to be a fun time. It really is. You know, I'm looking forward. Yeah. I also like your shirt there, uh, Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess it's my turn. <clears throat> so, guys, you never know when you go to the World Drone Community and get registered. You might get a mystery gift. You got to check it out. You never right. know, right? Look at Ray. He, he was the first one to win something, right? So check it out, guys. And and just to let you know, Al, I wore my World Drone Community shirt yesterday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've had a yeah. couple of people. We have a, uh, If y'all look at some of the videos you're seeing in Minefield, when people are there, look around, and you'll see people wearing our shirts. So we, did, we actually did really good when we went there. But we've got a lot more stuff other than shirts that we're in the process of making. We have some uh, lanyards that we're making, and it's a double lanyard. So you've got a lanyard that you can use to hook to your remote. Below it, where it connects, it's got a keychain lantern. So we got World Drone Community on that, and on the keychain itself, it says Drone Pilot, and on the other side, it says World Drone Community. So we have it in red and black. So those will be coming out soon. And then we're in the process of getting our new landing pads for the drones that have got our logos on those. And their price is cheaper, cheaper than you can actually buy a regular one. And if some of you guys have got channels, want to get some of those and get your name printed on it, let me know and we can send you out some. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So, guys, check out my channel, Duranify. Um, kind of sucking wind on views. I don't know why, but just the way it is. So, any help you can give me, it would be great. I'm about five subscribers away from getting to 3,300 subscribers, so help me out, guys. Get me to 33. When I get to 3,500 subscribers, it will be a mystery gift given to one of the members, uh, subscribers, so check it out. You never know. You might win something, right? So the giveaway is happening. Um, yeah, and uh, if you guys can think of anything that you know Johnny needs, let us know. Drop it in the comments below. And we'll help out Johnny as much as we can. Well, thank you guys, Ray. Man, you're awesome, man. Yep. Thank you for thank you for inviting me. Yeah, always, always. thank you. Always welcome, my friend. Robbie, good show today. Appreciate it. Doing all guys, that hard work on the back end, and we we had to, we had to wing it a little bit tonight without our guests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know it just happened, but so uh, it's nice to be able to bring Ray and some of these other people in that help support us. So we'll do the same for you when the time comes if a guest doesn't show up and you spend an hour making a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Jack, if you're watching this. <laughs> It'll be ready for you next time. Yeah, we'll use it next time. Yeah, no worries. All right. With that said, you ready to call it a, call it a night and let everybody have a good time? Yeah, we're out of here. Everybody can jump to the next live stream. We'll all say hello there. Other than that, Thanks y'all for stopping by and we'll see you again next Monday night. Good night. Fly safe.